Hello there everyone and welcome back to the old World Blues A to Z series in which we have very short videos, we're relatively short compared to what they used to be um, and at least for now and which we're going to War of the Texas chapter because you, me, oh my god that's so much resistance there, holy crap oh that's a mistake going in, that's a mistake going in but we have to go in no matter what, oh god dang it oh wow, look at that, that's a big old stack right there, a big old stack no capital ships unfortunately but you know whatever oh they do a few divisions in here but Oh god, resistance is going to be so bad. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Uh, these guys are... In the, oh my god, they have so much resistance. Holy... They How are they losing so... They have no manpower. Oh. Well, okay. That's fine with us. Well. It's not looking pretty. And oh my god, resistance is going to suck. But I guess that's why uh, we got also here scavenger rooms. Yeah, we read this one last time, so there's that one. Um, holy crap, that's gonna be so bad. Uh, immediately put them down here. Holy sh Nike fathers! Holy fathers on fire! Wow. So not bueno. Yeah, it's best to take them out together with the Pecos Colony, but... Oh my good god, it is painfully paining me. I think a good goal of this campaign is to get all the way, all, all of Mexico. All of Mexico would be good. And there's going to be a giant fight against the Legion, maybe. But we'll see, when, we'll see when we get there. I don't know. I'm not hard ruling down anything. Ruling down? I can't speak anymore. I'm fine with whatever. 100% resistance. Insane! 100% resistance is, uh, in my opinion, a bit too much. Nice for scavenging the ruins, that's nice. Local innovation is pretty good, though. Nice. Uh, okay, why not? Oh, another one? We did the Perez one, finally. Tampico! Ah, we have this one, too. Explode the remnants. Does nothing for us, but whatever. No, go ahead and just come up here. Oh, they must be a puppet or something. Do they get any map power back from that? Because, honestly, they probably did not. A hundred percent. Oh, my God. How could they let themselves get this bad? How and why? Good Lord knows, I don't want to deal with all this resistance. Because it is just destroying all the stuff here. Oh my god, is it even worth doing this? It honestly probably is not. And we've got enough modifiers here that I'm kind of a, like, we'll be fine. But, like, we're, we're lacking a lot of stuff, man. And it ain't even our fault. Now, this is bad. It is ultra super mega bad. If you just blitz through this as fast as you possibly can, that'd be fantastic. But I guess we'll have to wait and see, huh? Just go if you can, just go. Just 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 get over. Like bruh. Division attrition. Declare on the University of Austin. Uh anything here? Ooh. Oh look at that. Cape Coral. Fort Myers. Whoa. Florida. Do they actually add states here? Orlando, Magic Kingdom. Mobilize them peoples. Oh my god. Completely surrounded, and they're still putting up stiff resistance. I don't understand. Oh, we, can, eh, we can't even pierce them. Oh, the Wither Brotherhood. The, t the actual detachment. Oh my god, god, this is so bad. So, we've lost only 49, which makes sense. 5,000, my god. Um, interesting. And the hand warband as well, but they're up, they're up here, so that doesn't really matter too much. Pecos Colony? Uh, it might be worth going to war with them. They don't have that much manpower either, but they're so far away, it doesn't even really matter. Seeker so Burger. You guys are doing alright. You guys, it's, it's just too costly. Just let these guys take care of it. Um, do 
could drop there as well. You can be very thin. There's a lot of waterways and whatnot. Get the barnacles out of here. Jesus Christ, it's so bad. Go! Like it, it'll literally destroy our divisions here. A hundred and thirty percent. That's insane. We have the political power to do this, which is fine with us, so. Five world goals times, mess of the gulf. Oh wow. Holy crap. Oh, it's been all that bit of power now. Look at this, it's really nice. Is this Greece? No. It was New Orleans. No. Oh. New Orleans, Greece, same thing basically. I don't like how how do they get no resistance here? Okay, so this is cheating by the AI. Uh, they have no resistance, which is unfair to us. Completely unfair. So, I'm calling BS. Honestly, I might just use cons commands to annex these guys. We'll see. Or, unless glory, glory, glory falls fast now, because this is... This is really bad. This is so bad. Yeah, I'm, I might just use cons commands. Because the game has screwed it up. It, it, it's, 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 this is bad. This is so bad in terms of, like, resistance. And we get to suffer and get penalized for it. I don't understand why. Excuse me, game. I told you to leave. So, I'm going to deal with this off screen a little bit more because of resistance. Now, let's system. see if we can actually do anything with these guys. Uh, I don't know if we can actually attack these guys. They are war with the free fighters, which is pretty nice, but that doesn't mean very much. Um, so, hopefully, we can do something here, but you know, you never know. We did get dragon dogs, which is pretty nice, but just being technologically behind, it, it just hurts. It really, really flipping hurts. So, uh, and now these guys have been land. Oh, come on. Yeah, I don't. Uh, we definitely can't unite all of Mexico. This is too much. It's just too much. Also, I did uh, make it so that I did take pretty much this territory. Uh, Pecos Colony got all this, which might have been a mistake, but you know, whatever. Um, we're doing the best we can, you know. Can you actually pierce them? No. Oh, god dang it. That kind of sucks. Please don't attack us yet. For the love of God, please. For the love of God, do not attack us yet. Now I'm gonna call him in too. Screw it. I'm gonna come in to this war, it's fine. He's got radio, which or you know, radar I should say, I guess, really. Yeah, even though we court a lot of stuff, it doesn't help our manpower at all. Like this is really bad. So with the Columbus Path, the Sebastian Path, Sebastian Columbus Sebastian Path. Just can't say it's really worth it. I mean it's very difficult. It's not a lot of fun when you can't do very much at all. So yeah, I don't know, man. We're doing okay against these guys. We're doing the most damage. We get, these guys are fighting the Free Fighters, which is current war with like Hanto del Sol or something. Something like that. So, But I did try to unify our guys a little bit more, but luckily their divisions are very well spread out. So, uh, they just... Oh, God. Are you freaking kidding me? That's exactly what we need right now. Honestly, I'm getting tired of this. Um... Let me see what else things I can do because at this point, I mean, we're ju we're down and it's it's this is not good. It's just straight up not good. I hate this part so much. So, um, what else do we have around here? Oh, examine the new threat. We never faced an enemy like this before. Say we're in any way prepared to build face lie, which could be exposed in a matter of months. Though we may end up fighting in the dark, facing surprise after surprise, we must be well prepared for this war as possible. Advancing military strategy, of course, is in order. Uh, you know what? You know what? Let me let's adapt our tactics. Using our intelligence as best we can, we must analyze this synthetic threat to the fullest and attempt to understand its weaknesses. Finding the gap in the AI's military may be the difference between success and failure, not only strengthening our arms' ability to fight, but also our resolve to see this war through as well. Recreate capture technology. Reverse engineering is a destructive technique, and one our nation's ill-equipped to handle. All the same, though, there's no lack of robotic material to study and understand. If we can advance to the level of our rivals, we can not only fight their arms race on their turf, but use this technology in our future endeavors as well. I don't even think I read this one either. Though we can't pick up and move our main salvage spots, there is some degree of resource of refinery and exploitation that can be moved. 
As with other factories, we need to centralize resource production in the capital itself, preparing for the grim eventuality of losing vast swaths of land, and then there's this one too, which basically gives you nothing. For how far you have to get down here, it's not very much. The synthetic threat is not indestructible, though it may seem so at first blush. We can destroy the machines and make their AI ruler bleed. We must pour all we have into this war or face extinction. We must rally our people, gather weapons, and prepare to counterattack. If all goes well, we may prevail. I guess this, we can do this one too. Destroying Petrochico. Job both nations' benefactors reveal themselves in all their might. Then they shift to Mexicana, both the naval power and rival nation are the next threat for us to dispatch in our growth. But there will be a great war with many losses, but it must be done. But I think we're going to end here. I've got to go back to the drawing board and see what we can actually do here, because this is insane. You, just technologically, we are so far behind that it, 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 we can't do anything. Which is really kind of a bummer, especially when, And, like, it's one thing if you're hampered by technology. That's another thing if you're also hampered by these. I cannot convert these divisions, which is, I think, is a giant mistake by the game. Uh, at least for the Chichen Itza. But, you know, who am I? I'm just a guy here on the internet. But if you enjoyed the video, though, the very short one, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in the next episode. Let's see what else we can accomplish, or see what else we can do. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day!